Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. It looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce biobacteria in their multi that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Time to see what's above.
Toxanol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single ark they left behind that we know other arcs travelled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Just a few moves left, make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. <laughs> 